To turn off the monitor, simply hold the mode button down. It'll beep approximately four times and shut off. Manually configuring the monitor. With the monitor off, press and hold the mode button down and hold down. After PC Connect, it will say Configuration. Config. Let go. Press three times when you see the multiple bars. And now it will scroll through all of your options. Set time. Set date, set alarms, set cow gas if you want to adjust from 100 ppm CO to 50 ppm, set the calibration due date, set bump due for options. You can go into the submenu and adjust the STEL on or off, the TWA on or off, security beep, default is off, latching alarms, default is off, CALDU, you can add the decimal point to the H2S reading, and you're back to STEL. Triple clicking will bring you back to the main menu. You press and hold. And then ask if you want to accept. Countdown. And just press accept before the unit counts down to zero. The unit will shut down and that's configuring the monitor manually. Bump testing the IQ force. After attaching the hose, calibration cap, and regulator to the cylinder of gas, and with the, norm, with the unit in the normal operating mode, allow three minutes for stabilization. Then simply apply gas. Ensure all four sensors go into alarm. To check for accuracy, allow 45 seconds to one minute for stabilization of sensors for response. The reading should be 90% to 120% of gas applied. Disconnect gas and allow the monitor to purge. The unit is now ready for use. Calibrating the monitor. With the monitor in the normal operating mode, triple click the mode button to enter the auto zero mode. Press again before it counts down to zero. This is where it will auto span the oxygen to 20.9 and zero out the toxics and the 
combustible sensor. Press the button again when it counts down before it hits zero and then apply gas by attaching the calibration adapter with the thumb screw to the bottom of the unit. This process takes approximately one minute. Maximum adjustable values for all sensors will be shown on the screen and then the unit will shut off, completing the calibration process. Disconnect the calibration cap, turn off the gas, and turn the unit back on to confirm calibration and that the due calibration due has been reset to 30 days. Remove the four screws from the bottom of the monitor. These are your sensors, oxygen, carbon monoxide and H2S, and LEL for combustible gases. Remove one of the sensors that's causing the problem. The sensor also has a filter that can be replaced when the filters get dirty and discolored. And they're simply peel and stick, so unpeel the old sensor filter off the sensor. And simply put on a new one. Once the new filter is in place, reinstall the sensor. Put the cover back on. Now you can turn on the monitor. Allow the monitor about 15 minutes for new sensor to stabilize and calibrate. Bump testing the IQ Force using the IQ Force dock. After attaching the demand flow regulator and hose assembly to the cylinder of gas, and with the unit turned on, simply insert the unit into the dock. Dock will show that it's connected. Warming up sensors. Stabilizing sensors. Now it's performing at zero. And now it's applying gas. Now it's performing an analysis, testing horn, light, and vibrator. All tests have passed. You can now remove the unit from the dock 
and it's now in the normal operating mode. 